Well, the second Penn State football game is tomorrow when the Nittany Lions battle Buffalo. Our David Kaplan spoke to a local ambulance agency about how they adjust to the new game day parking plans. Now that Center Life Link EMS has experienced the Penn State football game with the new parking plan, they say it works well. With the new changes, there, there definitely has been a need for us to adapt a little bit, but it seemed like in the first game, some parts of the day, it was easier for us to get to and from the hospital. Eliza Shaw with Center Life Link EMS says despite heavy traffic on football game days, they're talking with other first responder agencies throughout the day to make sure emergency calls are top priority. We keep close contact with the dispatchers and the police departments that are handling the traffic at the games and things like that. So if we need to get through, uh, they're really good about helping us to do that. She says don't hesitate to call 911 during a home football game if you truly have a medical emergency. If you need help but it's not an emergency, you could call a rideshare program or get help in areas away from the football traffic. Consider an urgent care that might be in a different direction. Shaw tells us one of the streets that's notorious for heavy traffic in State College was a lot better during the first game. Atherton streets opened up for the first time in a long time, so there's there's better flow that way, and they they're really good about stopping construction on 99 during those times as well. In State College, David Kaplan, WTAJ News.